In this exercise we're going to learn how to use Maxent. Firstly we need to get some data, so we're going to go to the um, what's it called? The Global Biodiversity Information Facility. We're going to look for Kiwi in this example, so you want to type in the species name and search for it. Okay, and then we will click on the Apteryx there, and we're going to go to Occurrences, and we want Spreadsheet of Results, so we're going to deselect everything except for Longitude and Latitude, and the Format options for downloading, we want the tab delimited. Okay, so that will take a little while to prepare and then you want to download the occurrence search. Right, in Excel we're going to open that file that we downloaded. Okay, you want to make sure that you choose all files so it shows up. Great. Well, open that occurrence data. Okay, so now we want to remove everything except for the scientific name and the latitude and longitude. We're going to have to put the longitude before the latitude, so you want to copy paste, move things around like that. Then you want to erase any of the blank cells right and then you'll move all of those to the top and save as comma delimited file open maxent we are going to put in our uh, occurrence data first, so I've just saved it as Apteryx and uncheck, you just want to run it for one because there's different names on the spreadsheet, so just for one name. Then in the directory file you want to add the 19 Bioclim ASCII files. Okay, we'll just change a few things. We want for the random test percentage, we want 10 and we want four replicates. We're going to go to advanced and we want to have a thousand maximum iterations. And we need an output directory. and just choose where you want the output to go. It will come up as an HTML file. Okay, then we're going to run. If that warning sign comes up, just suppress similar warnings. Okay, now we need to find, once it's finished, find where they, the output for that HTML file is, so where we saved that, you can see it there. I'm going to double click on that, and it will take us online, and here we can see all of the distant, different um, statistical analysis for this model that we just ran on the Kiwi. We'll also get some nice maps out of it showing um, different sort of variations in climate and things like that and the jackknife of results so you can choose what results you want to come out at the end of this.